Stop thinking so young. Let's get into this one. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And check out the website, revelatoralpha.com, for all the latest biking news. So, I overheard a conversation the other day when somebody was saying, God, you're thinking too old. You're thinking like an old person. And I thought to myself, well, what about thinking like a young person? Should you be thinking like somebody who's young, or should you be thinking like somebody who's got some experience. Now, perhaps in modern society, we value youth over wisdom. We value playful naivety over experience. However, when we're talking about a performance activity, something that involves a certain amount of discipline, a certain amount of knowledge, a certain amount of aptitude, just like operating any kind of machinery, a motorcycle being the case in point. But you can apply this to most things in life. You've got to approach it with a certain sense of maturity so that you can achieve better results. Now, we've heard the expression before that we are the center of our own universe. And the way we perceive things and the way we perceive the environment or our abilities is based upon our experiences and also based upon the environment in which we're living. And it's very easy to be drawn into polar arguments or polar disciplines or polar approaches. You need to think like the old wise man or you need to be thinking like the up and coming youngster. Now, in reality, having a combination of both is not a bad thing having some wisdom to make really good decisions, but having the enthusiasm of youth is probably going to keep you on your toes a little bit longer and keep you engaged in a process a little bit longer as well. But when people say to me, don't act so old, or you really should be acting more like a younger person, well, what do we mean? What do we mean when we're talking about younger people or younger minds? As we know, young minds, they take a while to develop. So we're really talking about a younger person who has matured, let's say. And then what decisions are they making? Well, they're making decisions, again, based around being the center of their universe and the experiences that they've had and also the knowledge that they've gained. So if you're taking yourself and you're saying you should be like a younger person, you should start acting like a younger person, you should stop acting like an older person, then really you could fall foul of ignoring all the experience and all the knowledge that you've gained or contemporaries have gained in favor of just that that exuberance of youth, that enthusiasm of youth and blindly going into situations hoping that something will work out. Now, again, this could work, but we need to stop thinking like a young person, but maybe we need to act more like a young person, but we're just adding more experience and more wisdom. I've met some very young people who actually are wise beyond their years, and it's refreshing to see. And the way they approach whatever they do or the way they approach motorcycle riding or car driving or working in whatever discipline they've chosen is refreshing to see. And it's really good to see. And I've also come across many older people who are just as wayward as a 15 year old. So age isn't really an issue here. It's more about wisdom. It's more about decision making, making the right decision at the right time. Now, I come from a professional background where most of what I do and most of what I'm judged on is about making the right decision at the right time. It's not about making the right decision at the wrong time or the wrong decision at the right time. It's the right decision at the right time. And a lot of this is covered in training, in gaining knowledge, but it's also applying the experience and applying knowledge as well. And also learning from the experiences and getting feedback on those experiences and developing new systems and new procedures to deal with these new experiences. So you grow, you evolve. So thinking like a young person or stop acting like an old person doesn't quite work when you start scratching beneath the surface. If we apply this to motorcycle riding, for example, because this is a motorcycle channel, then being a young rider, you're very likely to be making decisions based upon experience or based upon the influence of others or other situations. Whereas an older person is more likely to be basing their decisions or their riding decisions based upon a whole lifetime of experiences and also the knowledge of other experiences as well. It's wisdom it's experience but it's also having the wisdom and the experience to be able to fine tune those decisions to ultimately achieve the right decision at the right time for most of the time 
Nobody has a 100% hit rate here, but you want to load up the bases. You want to make it lopsided so that you're making better decisions more of the time. And this can apply to young people, middle-aged people, older people. It's about making good decisions in whatever you do. And if we apply this to motorcycling, it is about analyzing how you ride and also the riding environment, what choices you're making, what roads you're deciding to ride on at what times, how aware are you of other motorists and pedestrians? How do all these factors enable you to make the best decision that you can make at that particular time? Stop thinking like a young person and stop thinking like an old person, but start thinking like somebody who's trying to grab as much knowledge and as much experience so that you make the right decision at the right time and not a decision that may or may not be right. And when it comes to riding motorcycles, you wanna be making the right decision at the right time for most of the time. And the more right decisions you make, the better your experience is going to be, the better your evolution as a rider is going to be, and ultimately, for the long term, you're going to have a lot more enjoyment. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about thinking like an older person or thinking like a younger person. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know. And how does this apply to what you do on a daily basis? How does this apply to riding motorcycles, driving cars, or building skyscrapers? Let us know in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and check out the website revelatealf.com for all the latest biking news. And I'll catch you again. Bye now.